In Argentina, there are only a few hours left for the first national general strike against the administration of President Javier Milei, and the confrontations between the government and the union leaders are getting hotter. The leader of the General Confederation of Labor, CGT, Pablo Moyano, replied to the Minister of Security, Patricia Bullrich, that the march to the Congress on January 24th will be uncontrollable due to the number of mobilized workers. With this statement, the leader of the CGT warned the government that nobody will run, to the, will run the workers with fines or with military forces. Then, the President Javier Milei assured that those who call for the protest defend what he called a populist model that generated a country with 50 percent of poor people and 10 percent of indigents. The Central of Workers in Argentina replied to Milei that his omnibus law repeats the failed recipes of the dictatorship, the 90s neoliberalism and the Macri administration. In this context, the Argentine government will send to the Congress a bill to reintroduce the country's income tax. The measure will be called a personal income tax and will contemplate a non-taxable minimum of, no, of $1,350,000, which will also be adjusted on a quarterly basis through the Consumer Price Index. The bill contemplates that the executive power will retain the power to modify the, mo the amounts of scales so that at least 800,000 people will have to pay the tax again. This type of proposals cause alerts in workers' unions who assure that the bill damages the workers' rights.